If you're a beginner healing from a foot injury, or you just got a stationary bike or exercise bike, this hurt foot low impact bike workout is just for you. When you're medically cleared for partial non-weight bearing exercise, this hurt foot low impact bike workout will help you stay fit on the road to recovery. Biking is an amazing exercise choice because it's beginner friendly and you can start to weight bear safely while healing. The hardest part is knowing how hard or how long to push on the path to recovery. But as your certified health and fitness coach, I'm here to guide you every single pedal stroke of the way. I use the bike while healing from my own foot injury. And now I've ex invited special expert guest and well-known UFC athlete, Jessica, onto the channel to take you through a bike workout as she heals from her own foot injury. If your doctor has given you the thumbs up to start using the exercise bike, this low impact hurt foot bike workout is designed to give you a safe and effective routine. I'll be giving you essential tips on using the bike for safe healing throughout the workout. These are all safe if you're in the partial non weight bearing stage of healing from a lower leg injury. But as always, please check with your doctor or healthcare team for doing this or any exercise video. Listen to your body, move mindfully, and stop if you feel any pain. Are you ready to get riding? Meet us on your bike, and let's do this thing. For our hurt foot workout today, we'll be using the Lit Bike by Freebeat. The Lit Bike makes for the perfect hurt foot exercise bike because it has foot baskets instead of clip-in pedals, so you can wear the shoes that you're using to heal instead of cycling cleats, which typically aren't something that you can wear when you're recovering from a foot injury. Not only that, but it's equipped with a rotatable HD 22-inch touchscreen designed to seamlessly transition from cycling to strength training, like my hurt foot workout series. The Lit Bike offers hundreds of on-demand classes with just one membership, and the all-access Freebeat membership provides household access for up to 10 accounts so that your friends can join you in classes and be emotional support as you recover. The price is significantly lower than its competitors, yet the Lit Bike delivers on the same premium indoor cycling quality experience. Designed and engineered in Switzerland, the unique wooden flywheel was designed to look clean and elegant, as well as outstanding in every aspect and terms of usability, durability, and versatility. There are 100 levels of resistance with even an auto resistance option, which automatically changes your resistance to match the class you're taking. Reach your goals by tracking your progress with metrics like power, resistance, and cadence, as well as compete with family and friends using the unique gamification features. I personally love the vertical and horizontal seat adjustments that have saddle sensors to improve your gamified workouts and gain points by detecting your form while riding. Because as we say on this channel, you gotta check in, make sure you're looking good while you're moving good. Freebeat has a fantastic deal now on their Hurt Foot approved exercise bikes. Check them out and use my code Caroline Jordan for an additional $100 off on top of existing deals on Freebeat's website here. All right, Jess, you ready? I'm ready. She's ready. We're going to get started on this Hurt Foot approved bike workout. So Jessica here is all set up with the bike accustomed to her height and her seat adjustment fore and aft is everything's good to go. How does the bike feel, Jess? It feels great. It's really cushiony, really comfortable. Very smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth. So I'm gonna have you place your hands on the handlebars, roll your shoulders down and back. We're just gonna spend a few minutes here warming up. So when you're recovering from a foot injury, the warm up is usually part of the workout because we wanna keep our workouts short as the body heals so that you gradually acclimate to placing more weight and more pressure on your foot in a way that your body can tolerate without delaying or stalling your healing. And that I think is the hardest part is to pace yourself and take it one pedal stroke at a time when you're getting back into movement. And as athletes who have recovered from foot injuries, I think patience is probably the hardest part. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why sometimes it helps to have a video to follow or a coach to stand there with you to tell you when to stop or how hard to push and kind of help you gradually ease back into things. So as Jessica warms up, I just want her to listen to her body and notice how she's feeling. 
So far, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being a lot of pain and one being no pain at all, I want her to keep her pain level on a three or less, meaning maybe she'll feel a little bit of things, but as long as that feeling doesn't increase in sensation, it just kind of stays or maybe even improves, we're looking good, right? Right. Right, so I'm gonna have her add a little bit of resistance and start to bring up the heat. So she's gonna turn that knob to the right there. And now, while the Lit Bike offers a lot of classes, I think one thing I've personally learned when recovering from my own injury is that I can't put myself in a class environment right out of the gate. I kind of have to do my own bike thing, set a timer, get off when it's done, because if I'm in a class environment, I'm gonna push a little too hard and then I might regret it. So that's why we're doing this workout today. We're just gonna ease our way into things. She's gonna to listen to her body. She's gonna be intuitive. She's gonna get a sweat on, get her heart rate up. And I mean, how good does it feel to do something like biking? It feels biking? good to move. It, it feels, feels so good. Yeah, right? Because you might not have been able to do biking for a while. So we don't need to bike for 60 minutes for her to get a good workout or a positive endorphin rush. Just a little bit goes far, a little bit of movement medicine. Yeah, now if she wanted to, the cool thing about the Lit Bike is that they offer beginner classes. So say she gets through this workout today, her pain level doesn't increase, she gives a few days in between sessions to kind of assess to see how her body feels. If her body's feeling like really good, she's ready for her next session, then maybe she feels comfortable and confident to dive into a 10 or 15 minute beginner ride with the instructor and the music. I will say the beginner rides are pretty friendly. Pretty friendly, they're very welcoming and they're definitely not gonna crush her. So, you know, I'm not gonna crush you or her today, but we are gonna add a little more resistance so she starts to get her sweat on. Now, one thing I have personally thought was great with biking is that you can keep the cadence high, meaning she's gonna keep her pedal stroke or her turnover pretty quick. And that's gonna help her flush out any tension from her legs without giving her really sore muscles. So she can get a good cardio workout without feeling like she just hiked Mount Everest, <laughs> which is nice. So Jessica, tell me a little bit more about what you've been doing on the pathway to healing your foot injury in terms of exercise while we're getting this workout. Mostly the only thing that I've been able to do really is, is lift, lightweight lift. Um, upper body, lower body I'm still able to do, but I just have to be, careful and monitor my pain and kind of let my pain be my guide honestly mm -hmm. so if it hurts immediately stop stay yep. away from it but um i have a great lifting program so i've been able to you know safely lift and just stay busy um sometimes i fall into the habit of not doing much when i'm injured mm -hmm. um, as a young athlete i had that issue so as a more mature, responsible athlete, <laughs> I deal with injuries a lot better. So I just try and do what I can and really let the pain kind of guide me to what I'm gonna do. That's really helpful to hear. And it's mean of me to make her talk while she's doing cardio, but also it was a really good check-in because I was able to see if she's working at the intensity level that I want her to work at. Are we exercising the heart? Yes. Is she out of breath? No. Is she dying? Not really, but we're getting movement in. And I loved what she shared about having pain be her guide. I think you're right. When we get injured, we're tempted to just sit on the couch and watch Netflix. Woe is me. Life is terrible. And we don't look at what we can do. We are thinking about all the things we can't do. But by finding a safe workout that we can do, a little bit of light, low impact biking, some safe lifting. Those are things that can keep us positive and fit on the path to recovery, which is awesome. So we're really glad that you're here with us today doing something positive and constructive for your health and well-being. And we want you to know that you're not alone, that injuries can be one of life's biggest challenges, but also one of life's amazing opportunities for growth inside and out. So do focus on what you can do. Grab a friend, get on an exercise bike, go for a swim if you're approved for water workouts. Do some weightlifting, which can be so amazing for not just all of your health, but mentally getting out some angst as well. <laughs> <laughs> How does this workout feel so far? It feels great. I mean, I haven't been able to really do much in the way of cardio mm -hmm. just because my foot fatigues really quickly. I am cleared to walk 
but That's I still awesome. experience pain when walking. So it's hard. I have to limit my duration. So this is really nice. I'm actually feeling my lungs. I can see that. This I'm is actually good. feeling the circulation. This is good. Which I haven't felt in, in months. So mm -hmm. it, it feels really good. And you might know many physical therapists when you're healing from injury will start you on the exercise bike because it's low impact, partial non-weight bearing, and you can still get a great cardiovascular workout without doing anything that will set you back in the road to recovery. So I'm actually gonna have you pick up the speed a little bit. I think high cadence workouts can really get the heart going, give you that cardiovascular boost without, again, crushing those legs or making your foot fatigue, like Jessica said. She's lucky because she is able to walk, and I know if you're not able to get there yet, this hopefully will help you take one step forward towards that path. So we're gonna add a little bit of resistance. This is our last resistance ad. She's been riding the bike for quite some time. And notice, friends, you can't hear anything. Look. Yeah, no, so so smooth, so smooth. She's working hard. You can hear her heart beating. I can hear her <laughs> heart beating, but I can't hear the bike. This is why this bike is phenomenal. It's so smooth and buttery. And, you know, it's, it's pretty, like, nice to ride, huh? It is. I think it's the most comfortable stationary bike I've ever been on. Oh, well, that's a statement. <laughs> Heard it here first. Heard it here first. Um, so we're just going to gallop her, get her heart rate up a little bit more. So a few intervals that we've done today, we've picked up the cadence, we've added resistance. We started with a nice, easy warm up to help her assess and see how her body was feeling. One of my favorite things, if you're doing a stationary bike workout, you can always try 30 on, 30 off, 30 seconds of pushing the cadence, 30 seconds of slowing down, or 30 seconds of increasing the resistance and 30 seconds of backing off. And then slowly, Jessica, start to pace your way, ease your way into an easy, moderate cadence. And on this bike, you can also, of course, follow all of your metrics. You can see what resistance you have so that each time you return to the bike, you can evaluate, okay, can I add a little more resistance today based on where I was last time? And that's amazing because the more you know, the stronger you can become because of it. Knowledge is power, my friend. <laughs> Knowledge is power. So for now, we're gonna move into some 30 second intervals. So I'm gonna have Jessica start at a comfortable aerobic cadence. So she's just pedaling like, you know, she's having a good time, she's out for a ride. And then I'm gonna have her pedal like she's late. Are you ready? <laughs> ready. <laughs> and go. So she's gonna pedal nice and fast, keeping her spine long, shoulders down. She's late for something important. She wants to have some resistance on the bike so she's not bouncing in and out of the saddle because one, no one wants sore areas. And also we want to keep some tension on the bike so she's keeping it grounded with resistance. We still late? Still late. She's still late. She's still late. So keep it up. We're going to go for 10 more seconds on this 30 second interval. Good job. She's breathing. All right, slow it down. Back to our casual ride. So we're going to move through this a few more times. As she's moving, anytime she feels increased sensation or pain, obviously we would stop, we would slow down. We'd get off the bike and we'd do some hurt foot floor workouts. But for now, how is it feeling? It feels great, no pain. No pain and oh my gosh, no sound at all coming from the bike, <laughs> just her heart. So just I'm, my breathing. Just her breathing, this is good. <laughs> As her coach, I know that if her breathing increases and she's unable to have a conversation with me, we're doing some good heart work. Ready? Let's go pick up the pace. I'm going to have her add a little bit of resistance by turning her knob to the right, just so she continues to stay grounded, but her cadence is still high. Resistance is still relatively low. So it's still all good to go for her foot. Nice job, Jess. Oh, we're looking good. I love cardio. Cardio is just happy, feel good, dopamine hit. It's all good. All right. And slow it down. So uh, if you're working with us, the interval that we're working with is 30 seconds of moderate. So I'm going to have her keep moving moderately and then 30 seconds of a higher effort. Again, we're keeping it hurt foot approved. So we're not going to crush her today. There's no standing on the bicycle just yet, but we will get there because healing happens and you know, movement is part of that process. All right. A few more 30 second intervals. I want you to push this one a little bit more. So 30 seconds. Here we go. And anytime she feels like a little ungrounded, she can add a little more resistance. So I want you to have enough gear on that bike so that you feel like, okay, I'm working. I use the bike a lot when I was healing from my sesamoid injury. In fact, I was actually teaching cycling at the time. So 
you know, it is possible to teach and still recover because now I'm fully healed and the bike was part of that process. Good job, Jess. Oh, she's breathing. And relax, moderate cadence. We're only going to go through a few more. So a few more intervals and again, keeping it in the feel good space. Are you feeling good? Feeling good. She's feeling good. <laughs> now, as a coach, if I really wanted to find out if she was working in an aerobic place, I would ask her to have a conversation with me. So if she's sitting there and she's telling me all about her like weekend plans, then I know we could probably push it a little bit harder. So on this next interval, if you want to add more gear, go for it. But again, keep it all in the saddle, keep it light. Here we go, 30 seconds. One thing that I see a lot when people get fatigued on bicycles is we start to round and slouch because we're often in that position on our computers or our cell phones. So we do wanna keep the spine long, like lots of distance between the ribs and the hips, and uh, really focus on working those legs, working the lungs. You're doing great, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> All right, few more seconds here on the 30 on, 30 off. Ooh, this bike's so smooth. It's so smooth and back it off nice and easy nice and easy good job thanks coach <laughs> <laughs> keep it up with us we're getting close sometimes i think too cardio oh man it kicks your butt so keep that energy up and remember to drink water or take breaks if you need it only a few more feels good to get some workout in huh it does <laughs> yeah good good we'll make sure we stretch our hips after this too so here we go 30 seconds and begin when I was in college, I got to teach the men's cycling team, uh, and that was really fun, on indoor bikes. They did some conditioning in the off season. And I also got to teach the men's basketball team. And that was really fun, because I'm little and they're big. And so <laughs> big guys on bikes are just funny. They're just funny. And one thing we did to make sure they were working aerobically was we had them sing while they were biking. True story, this is true story. All right, and slow it down. And um, we had a room full of six foot two men and me singing on bikes. What so, were you singing? A lot of happy birthdays. <laughs> and then it was in the early 2000s. So in the early 2000s, I played a lot of um, hip hop. So do you guys remember the Salt Shaker song? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There was some salt shaker action going on. So shout out to the UC Davis men's basketball team because they, they were good. They were good souls. All right, here we go. Pick up that speed. Laughter is extra credit. It makes you work your core, which is a bonus. You're welcome. So a few more intervals here. How you feeling? We're sweating. This feeling is good. good. I'm dripping. This is good. I like it. I like it. Get a little sweat session in, a little sparkling. She's doing awesome, you guys. I'm so proud of Jess. She's the one working really hard on her healing and she's making a great recovery, big comeback. The comeback story is the best part. So true. All right, ease off, ease off. So we're gonna work our way now slowly into an easy recovery. So I'm gonna have her keep up the speed, start to notice her breathing, and we're gonna take a quick heart rate check. So I'm gonna have her place her hands, find her pulse, and count. Ready, go. Watching the clock. And stop at a zero. 140. 140, yeah! So if you count for six seconds and you add a zero, that's usually a rough heart rate check. So she's at 140, 150. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a great aerobic place to be. And depending on your age, your heart rate zones will change. Um, but I'm so proud of her for getting her heart rate up safely and effectively today. So we're gonna take off that resistance a little bit, just start to ease our way into a cool down. What's important after she's done biking is to get off and complete maybe some hip mobility, some foam rolling in a safe way. And I have hurt foot foam rolling, hurt foot stretching. You can check out those videos after this one because you don't wanna just hop off the bike and then go sit down and watch Netflix. You definitely wanna incorporate recovery, nutrition, and sleep into your routine so that your healing is improved. Because exercise is one piece of the puzzle, but all of the other things are really important too. And not just the physical, but the mental and emotional part as well. Reaching out for support, making sure that you surround yourself with positive, fun people, like Jessica and I, and um, you know, keeping your spirits up, doing what you can. I used to have um, little dance parties in my house. So like put on some good music, you know, make yourself laugh. Those are all really good things to keep your spirits up.
because as Jessica mentioned earlier in the ride, sometimes it gets really hard and you have good days and bad days, but um, on the bad days, reach out for help, paint your toenails, have a dance party. Those things are a really good idea. So feeling a little bit less breathy, right? Yes, still sweating, less breathy. Still sweating, less breathy. So after we get off this bike, we're gonna do a little bit of hurt foot approved foam rolling and stretching and um, you know, ha have a great rest of our day and hydrate responsibly. <laughs> Jess, I can't thank you enough for riding this bike today. Um, oh, thanks for having me. You guys, make sure you follow her online. I'll include all of her links in the description box because she's a phenomenal athlete and you can watch her comeback story as you create your own. And thank you, Lit Bike by Freebeat, for giving us this opportunity to ride this fantastic, so quiet, so smooth bike today. This bike is like butter. I know Jessica's going to be knocking on my door to come over and ride it all the time. Oh, I am. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, we so hope that you enjoyed this Hurt Foot Bike Workout as much as we loved filming it for you. Have a great day, keep healing, and we'll see you again soon.